Hello, I'm Steve, this is Bit of Munch, and welcome to Crisp Sandwich, episode 22. 22, can you believe it? If you're new to the channel, you might not know about my love of crisp sandwiches. Um, but you can tell how much I love them, because this is episode 22. They're all in a playlist if you want to have a look. And when I make a crisp sandwich, I don't put just crisps in bread. I put other things in there as well. So, what crisps have we got this time, Steve? I'll tell you. Tyrrell's tomato and chilli chutney flavour. 175 from Morrison's. These were on offer. I don't know what the full price was, but 175 is a really good price for Tyrrell's crisps. Right, and I'm using cheese top rolls from Iceland. I'll put all the prices in the description down below. And Primula spicy cheese and jalapenos. This is lovely, this spread. It's not new. Um, been out for quite a long time. It says it's a two chilli rating. It's not. It's not really that spicy at all. But it's got a really strong flavour of jalapenos. Really nice. And in each roll I've got a couple of slices of Morlini smoked pork loin, which I've used in quite a few of my crisp sandwiches. I buy this regularly, it's great stuff. Got two slices left in there. Right, I haven't shown you the rolls yet, have I? There you go. So I've got the cheese spread on both sides of the roll. There's two slices of the meat, and then there's the crisps. Now as usual, when I do a crisp sandwich video, if it's a crisp I haven't tried before, I'll try the crisps first, and then I'll try them in the sandwich, or the rolls, or whatever. I've used all sorts of things for these sandwiches. All sorts of things. Right. They haven't got a very strong smell. I've already smelled them, I don't know why I'm smelling them again. Smelling them for, 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 your, for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Yeah, not a very strong smell at all. What does it say on the pack? Uh, tomato and chilli chutney flavour. <laughs> uh, the sweetness of tomato with a subtle kick of spice. Only the finest spuds are good enough. I don't know if you can hear that. It's next door's dog barking outside. <laughs> um, yeah, there's loads of there's bump on the back here. Meaningless stuff. We use the best dressed spuds and never are any artificial ingredients. Well, that's good. The best dressed spuds? What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. There's loads of other stuff as well. Right, let's try them. Let's try them. Oh yeah, really nice tomato flavour. Almost like a tomato ketchup flavour. Mmm. They're quite sweet. And to me, that really is like a tomato ketchup flavour. With, as it says on the back, a subtle, as it say, a subtle hint of spice. Which it is. Mmm. Really good. They're not too crispy. They're not really hard. I don't like really hard crisps. Like kettle chips. They're really crunchy, aren't they? I'm not keen on them. Well, I haven't had them for a long time, so perhaps I should try them again and see what they like. Anyway, back to these. Yeah, these remind me of the old um, uh, Walker's tomato ketchup crisps used to be able to get. I haven't seen them for a long time. I'm sure they're discontinued. That the flavour is like them, but with a little, little bit of spice. <laughs> Mmm. Really good. 
and really Moorish. <laughs> I'd better try the rolls, hadn't I? Right, the rolls. Now the rolls need a squish. They definitely need a squish. Because there's no way I'll get that in my little mouth. There. That one needs more of a squish. There we go. Squished. Right. Let's have a go. Mm. And quite often I say this when I make them. If you watch, if you've watched a lot of my crisp sandwich videos, you'll probably know what I'm going to say. Those flavours work so well together, <laughs> but they really do. Mmm. I can totally recommend these crisps. I can totally recommend you making one of these. Or make a crisp sandwich however you want to make it. Here's a question for you. Now I know some of your favourites. Um, what's your favourite crisp sandwich? Mmm. I've had, se had several different types of cheese top rolls. I've never had these ones from Iceland. They're really nice. They're really, really soft. Not overly cheesy. The Morrison's ones, um, or even the, I've had the Sainsbury's ones for ages. They're really good. Anyway, back to the crisps. As you can gather, totally recommend them. They're excellent. Tastes like tomato ketchup, tomato ketchup crisps rather, with a little, little bit of spice. Just a little bit. Definitely buy them again. Uh, and I recommend my rolls, because I made them. And that's something else I quite often say in these crisp sandwich videos as well. Right, hope you've enjoyed that one. As I said, let me know your favourite crisp sandwich. Any weird and wonderful ideas you've got. Um, then stick them down below and I'll have a look. But check out my playlist first because I've done a few weird and wonderful ones. <laughs> but I'm always open to suggestions about crisp sandwiches that is. But in food in general. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go and eat this. I'm going to put more of those crisps on the plate as well. Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.